Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Life Collectors. And today we're gonna do something new and something that I've seen other people do on their channel, is spell out their name with video games. So me being a Dreamcast collector, I might as well do the Dreamcast edition. So we're gonna start it off with M for Mr. Driller. Mr. Driller is a fun puzzler that allows you to dig deeper and deeper in the depths of the level and try to rack up a deeper score. Not overly complex, but its replayability is second to none. Incoming. Incoming is a 3D shooter that is very simplistic in gameplay, but it's still a lot of fun. It features two player split screen and also various ways of playing. C, Carrier. Carrier is a 3D horror game that took its ideas from Resident Evil. Although the dialogue is fairly cheap, the gameplay is fairly fun. And it's a very good game to pick up if you're ever into looking for a cheap Dreamcast game. This isn't too overly expensive and super fun to play. H, Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder is a fantastic racer that has you actually racing on water, hence Hydro. It's super fun, super fast, with the ability to race and find hidden shortcuts, boosts, and plenty of boats to unlock. This is a fantastic racing game. A. Armada. Armada is a 3D action RPG which has you controlling a ship and you can level up that ship as you're destroying enemies on screen. The cool thing is that you're allowed to take up to four players and do the same thing. Each ship can customize their loadout, giving you the RPG feel in this game. E. Expendable. Expendable is similar to Smash TV. Clear each room with waves of enemies and destructible environments. The ability to play two-player co-op is a selling point on its own. It's so much fun being able to rack up the score and just play to your heart's content. Such a great game. And lastly, L. Legacy of King. I hadn't played the original Legacy of Kane series. I was first introduced into this game and I was actually blown away by the CGI graphics. And it's an unbelievable story when you're first introduced to Raziel. It's one of my favorite action adventure games on the Dreamcast and still stands up to today. One franchise I would love to see brought back. And there you have it, a list of Dreamcast games that spell out my name. Please let me know what you guys think. I'd like to see a list, and if you guys don't mind, tag me along with it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.